Welcome to our video review of An Evening with Catherine Jenkins, hosted by Imagine Cruising. Stay tuned till the end and you'll hear how amazing Catherine's performance actually was. So, if you didn't catch our uh, previous video, we were taken to Rome by Imagine Cruising. We were put up in a beautiful hotel, the Hotel Ambassiatori. I'll put a link up above so you can see our video of that. It was a fantastic hotel um, and it was an excellent location, wasn't it? Rome actually is very easy to explore on foot and that hotel, yeah. we did everything from there. But this is about the event, so let's talk about the Imagine Cruising event. Um, we were taken to Castello Aldascacci, which is a castle outside of Rome, to um, witness one of Imagine Cruising's events. And that was at the evening with Catherine Jenkins. So we put our best bib and tucker on, didn't we? Yes, indeed. And we were taken by private transfer to Castello Aldascacci. Scalchi, have I said that right? That's easy for you to say. Yeah. yeah, a castle basically outside of, uh, and about an hour outside of Rome, on the beautiful uh, Lake Brasiano. So uh, we were taken there by private transfer, and as soon as we got out the um, the private taxi, wasn't it? The Imagine Cruising staff were there to greet us, and I've got to say they've treated us since we went well, to the hotel to yeah. we came home. They were so visible and so good, weren't they? But. Just to point out, they weren't treating us so well because we were there to tell everybody all about it. That's how they treat everybody. They can't do enough for you. We spoke to people in the hotel who were there for the event. Yeah. And they they couldn't say enough good things about them. It was really, really worth it. That's, that's true. Um, at the hotel and at the event, actually, yes, we spoke to definitely. a lot of guests. So um, anyway, so we got out of the private taxi and we turned the corner. I knew it was going to be an emotional thing because... Well, just because we'd seen, obviously, little snippets. Um, but we turned the corner and there was a red carpet. I'm getting emotional thinking about it. <laughs> I got all goose pimply. Um, and we turned the corner. Oh. And there was a red carpet. Oh, my you, God. You wouldn't have thought somebody would get so excited about a red carpet. I mean, we haven't it got was. any carpets in our house. <laughs> no. So maybe, no, that's that's... Why, maybe that's why she's <laughs> like that. Because all our that's floors true. are That's true. That's so, true, actually. Yeah. Maybe that's why. But anyway, so we've seen the red carpet and obviously started to walk up there. And they had all the flag bearers all the way up there, didn't they? And so they started obviously playing the trumpets and um, the Bang drums. drums. And they it was just... Yeah, they basically gave us um, a guard of honour from once we, we sort of walked through an archway at the car park and then the red carpet ascended up towards the entrance to the castle. Yeah. And as soon as we got on the red carpet, they started fanfaring us and gave us a guard yeah. of honour all the way through the door, which absolutely spectacular yeah it was by the time I got to the yeah. top I was just like this yeah. just a little very emotional very yeah. overcome and not only that I was looking at the uh, red carpet but then I glanced to the left and the view over Lake Brasiano, Brasiano. Yeah. was just it was like where do I look it was just absolutely phenomenal wasn't it it's hard really hard to put into words we have done a blog post um, which we tried to put in words and we'll put the, a link in the comments below and a link obviously to Imagine Cruising Events because we can't hide recommend signing enough because it was just so, oh, so amazing so we got to the top after we composed ourselves at the top of the uh, red carpet we after we composed ourselves. ourselves after I composed myself yes. um, we were taken then through a, a little part of the castle weren't we into uh, the gardens and uh, that was you just we were just walking around a bit like this weren't we sort of I was it there was um once you got into the garden at the back, you could then have a proper view all over the lake. Mm. Um, there was like a big garden party laid out, a um, big bar area with, um, you know, lots of bubbles. And yeah, it was. Um, luckily, they had a beer for me as well. So yeah. I was a bit of a Philistine. Happy with your Peroni. But it was Italian beer. And then they had a little um, sort of table laid out where you could, you know, they had little... Um, well, it was actually tempura. They were like uh, vegetable you tempura. Me, so really, I, was, really nice. I was too excited looking yeah. around the garden. She was trying to find some more carpets, I think. So no, it wasn't. Like <laughs> and then... Introduced to Robin Deller. Yes, we did. Who's the main man at Imagine Cruising? Is and um, he was 
just so excited. The, the enthusiasm of the was. was spectacular. He was just so it's excited just about it. Yeah, just really, really infectious and just telling us all about his vision of what he'd like Imagine Cruising to be. And, you know, one of the main things that come across, obviously he wants it to be spectacular events that, you know, is going to give you memories to last a lifetime. But what he would never do is he would never oversubscribe yeah. an event. So, you know, if you go somewhere... You know, we've all done it, whether it be a boat trip or, a, you know, it generally seems to be an excursion. You pack in. Yeah, and there's about 750 people mm. and one person telling you a story. It ain't quite so good. But what they do is they make it so it's a small amount of people and it just makes it feel that much more special because yeah. you feel like... Well, you're treated like yeah, a VIP. Yeah, you're, treat, you're yeah. treated like a VIP. So. Talking of VIPs, we walked through the into the gardens and Calvin Fletcher was there, who works a lot with Imagine Cruise and with his GP4 racing, doesn't yes. he? Which he's just won the championship, so congratulations. And he's just about to go on Strictly, which was announced on the night yes. too, wasn't it? So that was... And we had a, just a very brief chat with him, and he was lovely too, wasn't he? Was he was lovely. Really nice guy. Uh, we don't actually watch Emmerdale, but we're told that he was very good in it, but obviously we're a massive Strictly fans. We so are, so, so we will be behind him all we will be cheering him on so it, we were in the gardens and there we had like you say bubbles we were talking to some other guests weren't we and interestingly imagine cruises can, can they seem to be able to put a package together for whatever you want some it was um beginning the cruise some it was at the end of the cruise wasn't it uh, and some were then actually going on to sorrento and florence and other things yeah. their holiday hadn't hadn't finished had it no. so um they were it's like a bespoke um holiday but, but i do have to say if it was my choice, I'd definitely do it at the end because the trouble is, if you do this at the beginning, yes, whatever is to come is never going to no. match up to it. So that <laughs> that's a very advice. good point. That's a very good point. So we're in the gardens, um, and then we were told that uh, the support act for Catherine Jenkins was a guy called Mark Vincent, who Paul um, can explain who that is. He's uh, Mark Vincent, uh, operatic singer. He won Australia's Got Talent in 2009 yeah. when he was only 15, mm. which is like pretty spectacular. Um, and he was immediately signed yeah. um, for a record deal once he won uh, Australia's Got Talent. And he's just gone on from there. And he's mm. done a few events with Catherine Jenkins before. Yeah. And we, went, we were asked to go into the castle and asked if we would like to meet yeah. him. So we went up the stairs, didn't we? <clears throat> Excuse me. And met him. Um, just by his dressing room, and he was such a lovely guy, wasn't yeah, he? Really, and really he lovely. seemed so genuinely moved to actually be performing. He said he's been performed in some pretty spectacular yeah. uh, venues. He said, but something like this, and particularly with Catherine Jenkins, you could see he was so thrilled to be there, wasn't oh, absolutely, he? Absolutely, yeah. And I just mean, a really, really nice guy. Anybody who's ever performed anywhere, if 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 it didn't excite you performing in this venue, then yeah. there, there's no hope for you really, because because this amazing. this castle is. It's hard to put into words what how spectacular. This is the castle that actually um, Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes got married in. Yeah, Their and marriage you know, didn't last. You know how that works. No, <laughs> but the castle's still there. Yeah. So um, and they do do weddings, except still now. So they, we went into the main dining room. Was well, not the main dining room. It's the grand dining the... hall. It's not. It wasn't on the <laughs> we cruise ship. On a it cruise was in the ship, castle. No. Um, it was just absolutely spectacular. Mm. The decor in there was amazing. Chandeliers, All chandeliers, and statues. Fantastic paintings. Yeah. And we had a great table. We, we had lots of conversation. Yeah. And then before we knew it, um, the MC, Jonathan Wilkes, appeared. And we didn't even have that on our radar, did we? Well, somebody didn't have it on their radar because they weren't paying attention the day before. But I knew he was going to be there. But Carol obviously didn't. I didn't. Which so... was a very pleasant surprise. <laughs> it was. I thought she was going to fall off her chair. And she said, oh my God, that's Jonathan Wilkes. I said, yeah, I know. <laughs> so, uh, so that was a real, real, real surprise. Which was, um, And he was a brilliant MC, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was great, yeah. Uh, he's, he's just good at what he does, isn't he? Yeah, he's, yeah. Um, so he introduced us to a, um, a, a musical band, um, a classic, not a musical band, like a, quart, a classical quartet. A classical quartet. quartet uh, apparently made up of local musicians. Mm. Um, they... They play some beautiful, you know, classical stuff, and they, they did actually did a song that they actually written themselves as well, and it was just a lovely, you know, for in the background as it was as you're chatting to fellow guests. It was it just it set the scene absolutely perfectly. Yeah, that, that's exactly right. Um, it was a real yeah, it was. I think that's all to say about that because yeah. it was beautiful meal in a beautiful place with beautiful music, uh, and then it was time for the main event. Uh, so we were asked to go into the courtyard. Who asked us to go in? Jonathan Wilkes asked us to go in. <laughs> was Jonathan Wilkes? He in? was there. Yeah. So, um, so we went into the courtyard and 
Well, you walked, just walked in there and it was just, wow. Wasn't it the whole yeah, set? Yeah, it, it was fantastic. Um, the lighting, the atmosphere, it was just perfect. And they gave you some lovely fluffy blankets, yeah. didn't they? Because obviously you're out, we were outside and if it was a little bit windy. Um, but actually, um, it, was, it was fine, it was wasn't it? So we found our seats and we were in the fourth row, weren't we? Yeah. Uh, which was which was amazing and on an aisle so that's always good isn't it for photo opportunities yes. so I was chuffed to bits with that um, and then Jonathan appeared again much to my pleasure yeah. <laughs> and uh, introduced us to Mark Vincent um, who was just well he was incredible incredible yeah, yeah absolutely incredible um, got, thank god I took loads of tissues because they were just he was it was just so moving wasn't it it was really really was spectacular he was such a talented guy um, and such a, a wonderful stage presence, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, his voice was like, he, he actually did about 30 seconds of one song where he just completely walked away from the microphone and you could barely tell the difference. His voice yeah, is that powerful. Yeah, yeah, talented and, guy. Um, a lovely cross-section of music, some classical stuff, which we don't follow lots of classical, you know, sort of opera type music, but the stuff he did instantly recognisable. Yeah. Uh, he also did uh, My Way by Frank Sinatra. Enough more than I could chew And through it all And there was doubt I ate it up and spat it out I faced it all Was it Westlife? West Westlife, uh, a Westlife song. Yeah. Which was fantastic. You raised as well. me up. Yeah, you raised me up. Yeah, yeah which so, was uh, really uh, yeah. moving, wasn't he it? He said so... he preferred the Josh Groban version. So. <laughs> he did. But yeah, so unfortunately, Mark's uh, performance went very, really quickly, yeah. wasn't it? And then before we knew it, the, the main event, well, this is the main event, but the main star was about to... Is that the to, main, main event? The main, main event was going to grace us with her presence. And um, Jonathan Wilkes arrived again, much to my pleasure, and introduced uh, Catherine Jenkins. And we're thinking, where is she? Where is she? And we looked up and coming into the courtyard was this, well, beautiful stair, well, stone staircase wasn't it yeah. and she appeared at the top and it was just something like out of a fairy tale wasn't it it was, yeah. it was. i'm going all goosey is again is it still jonathan wilkes is the fairy tale or well both yeah. really yeah. both it was a great combination yeah. so yeah so she appeared and started singing and then came down the stairs onto the stage and you're just it was just we've seen her on television obviously she's you know that she's going to be a beautiful lady but she's so tiny and just stunning wouldn't she absolutely stunning and the voice that comes out of this this Tiny, beautiful lady is just well phenomenal, isn't it? I don't know the words to explain it. We've 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 run out of adjectives, I think, haven't Superlative. we? Superlatives. Superlatives. Yeah. But she was, and she gave a tremendous show, and again did a various um, types styles of music, yeah. which actually I was surprised she at. She did a bit of she did some show tunes again, some operatic stuff, yeah. some pop stuff. She, she did, did. She did a fantastic. She got Mark Vincent back on the stage. Yeah. And did a fantastic uh, duet. It's the five Guide us with your grace. You must be so we'll be safe. And my friend and I, I am just all in my was just absolutely spectacular was. Uh, spectacular and very fittingly she did um world in union because obviously we're into rugby world cup now and she yeah, did the theme she for did. that a few years ago
helped as well. And um, she did Time to Say Goodbye, which obviously that yeah. was the last one or so we thought, but it wasn't quite Time to Say Goodbye. No. Because the, the grand finale was an amazing version of the old Vera Lynn classic, We'll Meet Again. And she came off the stage and walked amongst the audience encouraging us to sing. Unfortunately, Carol did start singing along with her. I thought <laughs> well, she everyone was, was singing uh, along, but my voice was... She, well, uh, I was crying like I believe yeah. getting emotion again there. I was crying when I heard Carol <laughs> no. singing. You know. So uh, my, my singing isn't normally yeah. that bad, but it was, was a little sad, bit scrawny yeah. because I was crying too. Yeah. So. And I'm sad to say we couldn't edit that bit out, so you might have to suffer <laughs> no, that when you I will, to. I will edit that out. I'll put it on no, the side. No, you won't. Anyway, <laughs> back to, enough about me singing, back to Catherine Jen Jenkins. And she was, she just got, she was there, wasn't she? She was just right it by like us. She was floating. It was. It was just amazing. You could see the, the joy in the crowd, wasn't yeah. it? Everyone was just like, oh my God, this is, this is a magical moment that we'll never, ever forget. Yes. Don't go people maybe mm, yeah, not... um, to go into another room where there were some chairs laid out and then Mark and Catherine came back through and did a question and answer we were in the front row because we were a bit swifter on our feet so we thought we were better getting there <laughs> and then we sat there we we're like 10 feet away from him and we were like so, think, what should we ask what should we so ask? starstruck I, mean, I, think think she asked, I think Catherine asked Carol if she could do a duet with her after a <laughs> performance of we'll meet again but um <laughs> But no, there, no, luckily, lots of other yeah, people. Yeah, there was there. lots of fans in the audience yeah. that asked some fantastic questions, yeah, there didn't was, they? Yeah. And she was just adorable. Yeah. And so was Mark, wasn't yeah. she? she? And was... one question I wanted to ask, but suddenly beat me to it, was a marriage proposal. But, oh, so you've been Jonathan Wilkes <laughs> in the whole time. Well, um, but unfortunately, she, a bit like she, she turned him down. So I thought, well, you know, yeah. I better leave that one for next time. <laughs> no. But yeah, so it was so lovely just again to be so close and personal. So that's what I imagine cruising do really well. Um, and that was great, wasn't it? And that was about 20 minutes, half an hour. Do yeah. you think that was... A... Yeah. Um, and then obviously they, they left again. And then we um, we just had to wait for our... Uh, transfer back to our hotel but little did we know that we were sat there waiting and the next thing we know actually Jonathan Wilkes came over and had a chat with us didn't he, he? Did. I don't know if Carol mentioned earlier but Jonathan Wilkes was there <laughs> I know and he was, and, oh, he and was, he was such a, he he was such such a, a nice lovely guy. guy telling us about his academy wasn't it in Swindon yeah. and telling us about just his experiences and he was just generally so chuffed to be there wasn't yeah. he and just a really top bloke um, so so there we are, and then sadly that was the end of the evening. We were whisked back off to to Rome to we our to our beautiful hotel. Yes, <laughs> and we were all, you know, when you get back to the hotel, we got into our hotel room, didn't we? We sat there and we just looked at each other and said, "Did that really what just happen?" Happened? Yeah, yeah. Because it it was, it was just, just magical. So we would like to say thank you so much, Imagine Cruising, for inviting us along. It truly was a uh, once in a lifetime experience. And um, this is why we've done our blog post. We want to share it with everyone yes. because we weren't aware that these experiences were out there. And we want to just let our followers and everyone that watches us that if you want to add something to your cruise experience that's just going to take it to an extra level, then Imagine Cruising um, are the company to contact. Yeah. We'll put all the details in the um, comments below. And um, yeah, what else to say? Absolutely mm -hmm. phenomenal. I keep saying that word phenomenal. You do phenomenal. I need to, phenomenal. So Basically, because Carol will waffle on for about another three minutes. Yes, days. I would. I so, could talk about it forever. So, so that's that's the end of our video. Thanks ever so much for watching. Do check out Imagine Cruising. They're, some of the things they offer are... Well, not some of the things. All the things they offer is absolutely spectacular. Uh, thanks for watching.
Cheers. Yes. See you soon.